Daria, The Lust Episode. Date, April, April 15th, 2008. Hi, my name is Steve Toilet Paper. I was watching MTV the other day, and I was, a, I was about to play whatever crap MTV airs, when then suddenly the TV turned off. Then Quinn came onto the TV and said, Hello world, I am Quinn Morganorfer. I am with the Fashion Club, and today we are going to hijack MTV Studios to air our special Daria episode. Stay tuned! The old, old black and white cartoon timer then played. From 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. The episode started with Daria sleeping on on her bed that was on the beach for some reason. The camera was zooming in on the hotel next to her. Daria's parents, well, parents screamed, or Jake, if you want to more, be more specific, screamed, oh, 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 oh. Daria, how dare you wake me and your mom up in the Facebook metaverse? That's it, go to school now. Daria then proceeded to airwalk and fly out of her bed with a disgusted look on her face like she just smelled rotten eggs mixed with diarrhea. <laughs> then when the next scene showed with the camera zooming in on the blonde goth girl's face while the Michael Jackson song Blood on the Dance Floor was playing. It was going, Susie got your number, and Susie got your free look behind your arm. After that, Sister D. Martino then said, Okay, class, what is 9 plus 10? It's 21. Daria, that is the wrong... How dare you get the problem wrong? That's it. Go to the principal's office, even though this is not a school. Mr. D. Martino was right. It wasn't Lawndale High, or his classroom, or any any school... It was the Mall of America. Daria then went to the principal's office, quote unquote, which was actually just a actually just a smelly bus station toilet toilet bathroom. She looked in the mirror and said, "Daria, how dare you get the problem wrong? That's it. You're expelled. Go home now." Oh 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 oh," said Helen. Which, by the way, she wasn't home. It wasn't their house. It was Main Street at Disney World. She, Helen said, Daria, how dare you get the problem wrong? That's it. I'm calling the cops on you. While she was saying that, the, Helen's character model looked like she was sprinting. And Daria's a character model looked like she was pointing at something. The cops, quote unquote, was actually Miss Lee. She said, what did Daria do? Helen then said, she got the problem wrong. How? I would also like to note that my, t my volume, TV, TV volume was on 80, was on, on 5. But then Miss Lee then said, that's it. She's getting executed. My volume, then, it then sounded like it was at 100. I jumped up and quickly turned my volume down. Mr. Buzz cut was I was executing Daria in the middle of Spencer's store for some reason and all of a sudden a piece of dog poop then dropped from the ceiling and he said and then Mr. Buzzcut said in a weird voice oh no poop do do uh, a burp was then heard and then a we and, and then a commercial was about to air as it said after these messages we'll be right back and then I played a weird go animate video with the so with the spokesperson said, Do you wish to have the grounded ability to ground everything you see? With the character women, woman character who who is a teacher, she said, Globe, you're grounded. The globe then proceeded to grow and say after I've I've said a billion jillion times, I said I'm not even a real person. Apparently it was a commercial for for grounded chicken, and it will help me solve all my grounded problems. I turned off the TV and thought to myself, Wow, what the hell did I witness? I proceeded to take my 90s skateboard and smash my TV into oblivion. 
because the episode was so nonsensical that it was boring. Daria and Jane Lane then came into real life and took out a machine gun and shot me. I was, I was lying there bleeding on the floor. After I died on the floor, my brother then came into the living room where I died. He then went Super Saiyan, like Goku, and then him, Jane, and Daria had a bloody battle, ha 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 ha, and then he, he took, my brother then took out a grenade and proceeded to destro destroy Daria and Jane. However, Jane Lane survived and used her electric powers to kill him. And I then went, my vision then blacked out. I woke up in hell because I apparently ate a thousand cheeseburgers at one time. I went up to a demon and asked, Oh demon, where am I? The demon then said, You're hell. Satan shall see you now. He then opened these demonic looking doors. Satan, who was actually just the devil from Cuphead, said, What brings you to hell? I said, Who the hell are you? He responded, I'm the devil. Who are you? I'm Steve Toilet Paper. What the hell kind of name is that? He said. He then proceeded me proceeded to push me in deeper and deeper into hell, and then ended up in the hole where they keep the gluttonous. Green Max was there, and he tried to bite my arm. I threw him off me aggressively, I might add. And, and then we had a battle over a cheeseburger. I proceeded to eat the cheeseburger whole. I nearly choked, but I was already dead, so that was pointless. And then I lied on the ground and thought to myself, where did I go wrong in my life? As my vision went to black. The end. <sighs> okay. Here's a little review. From the Facebook metaverse being mentioned in 2008 to all the weird backgrounds and cliche stuff, as well as that Grounded Chicken commercial, this story is more or less like a funny pasta. Well, I wrote it, so who cares? Also, uh, Daria commented on one of my videos saying, do I think Spongebob's an awful show? Because I said it in one of my videos. Well, to be honest, it's not a bad show. That It was said in the video, Sam Max Go to Hell Part 6, or Part 5, I don't remember. And that, that story was told in the perspective of Alex McCornflakes. That's his opinion, not mine. I still think SpongeBob's a okay show. Okay, goodbye.